This winter, there have been an unusually high number of norovirus outbreaks reported across the country, and with that number continuing to rise, and according to the CDC, norovirus is the leading cause of gastroenteritis in the U.S. Dr. Nidhi Kumar is on call to tell us more. Good morning. Good morning. Why do you think there's such a sharp rise in these cases? Well, we have a new strain circulating, and whenever you have something new, there's less uh, immunity in the community, so more people are getting sick and getting pretty sick, nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, fever, and it comes on out of nowhere. But the good thing is, is that if you are a healthy person, symptoms generally will resolve pretty quickly. Yeah, but when you have them, yeah. exactly how does this norovirus spread? Well, three, here's the thing. It's a hardy type of virus. So it's pretty resistant to heat. It's resistant to changes in pH. It is even resistant to hand sanitizer. So it can live on surfaces for days to weeks. It's tr um, transmitted very easily from an infected person. And it also can be transmitted through the food. And the big culprit here is uncooked shellfish or oysters. Oh boy, here we go. It's such a problem. Yeah. I'm hearing so many people dealing with this right yes. now. So what do you think is the best way to prevent us from getting it? I mean, what, what should we do? Well, good old-fashioned hand washing. You know, you can't just rely on those hand sanitizers because of the way this virus is built. It is built in such a way that it is resistant to those types of things. So good old-fashioned hand washing, washing. The CDC says about 20 seconds of warm to hot water. When you are disinfecting surfaces, you want to use bleach. You can't rely on just regular disinfectants. Making sure you're cooking your shellfish. No raw shellfish right now. Um, and then finally, if somebody is sick, you really want to isolate them in the household because people can stay contagious up till two weeks time. And that means also isolating all of their clothing. So washing their clothing separately, wash it on a high heat and um, just, you know, try to stay safe because you don't want to get this. No, for sure. No, you, know, you, you really hear don't. People had a stomach bug. It wasn't quite contagious, but, you know, it was from the food. But now you, it's a different story with oh, norovirus. Yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you so much, Dr. Nadi Kumar. We appreciate you coming on and talking to us about Good to it. see you. And you can catch Dr. Kumar's health reports every Monday at 7.15 a.m. right here on CBS.